Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading and this will be for Cancer for August 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Just remember it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. All right. Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. Ooh. Okay, one more. Two. Oh, they flew out pretty quick. Okay, on the bottom, you have the Two of Wands. Now, this is all about future planning. You've got two choices, like on the card. Um, it can mean determination, but generally decision. You're assessing your life and making decisions. So you're taking the next step, making choices, um, maybe even partnering with others who share your dreams, but you're continuing to move forward. Right. Now, on the table, you have the Six of Cups in reverse, and you've also got the Knight of Wands. So with the Six, this is about you feeling disappointed. you needing to forgive somebody, but you're obviously being hurt and now you're disappointed and you're it's all about forgiveness it can also mean you thought you were going to get old with somebody and that didn't quite turn out the way you'd you'd hoped that it would but you've also got the knight of wands so this can be about somebody who's very um, impulsive they are passionate confident um, and it can mean there are events that require your immediate action you need to trust your instincts stay focused it can also mean a passionate relationship now the passionate relationship could be the person that you thought was going to be your forever person it was somebody you thought you were going to be with forever but you are disappointed with what happened with this person um, and so now you're obviously making choices making decisions based on based on that obviously you're not with this person anymore or you're you still are and you don't you're not sure if you want to be um, but I feel like with the eight, you're not really making a positive movement forward. So maybe because you, you're so focused on this situation with what happened with this person, you're not able to move forward. You will though. Maybe though this person was somebody that was very fiery and passionate with, but I feel like focus on your um, something creative, Oh, with the pinnacle, sorry, it could mean you are focusing on your money, focusing on making um, like your career, focusing on your career. It can also be about making money, um, but it can also mean a blossoming new relationship down here. So whether you just move on to focusing on your career for now, um, let me find out what else. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be like the fool. You're gonna be a free spirit, take new chances. So this is about um, being fearless, being a risk taker, being a free spirit, and having a new beginning. But you've got to move on from this. Well, you will move on, as I said. You will have a new beginning. You will be a free spirit and have a new beginning. So at the moment, though, you're a bit obsessed about this situation. And you're trying to hang on to it. But you need to do some work on you maybe. Because you fear the change. Then we have the chariot. We have the knight of swords in reverse. And we have the five of wands. So you've definitely got conflict going on. You need to walk away from any drama. Unless it's really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. But otherwise walk away from the drama. Um, you may have very differing opinions as well. And it's probably, with the, with the Knight of Swords, I mean, you're probably not in any kind of communication right now. Um, or this is somebody that once they get their mindset, they're very hard to change. So this person, you know, may feel a certain way. And as much as you want to argue with this person and have the conflict, you're never going to change their mind anyway. So I feel like that's where that's going. The Chariot... This is about you having direction, 
being determined, making progress and making a change. And I feel like obviously you're making a change because you're not going to get anywhere with this person. Tell me more. Spend some time with friends. Go and just turn to your circle of support if that's what you need. You are going to move on from this heartbreak. And this is about you releasing the pain and forgiving and becoming more optimistic. Realising that there probably wasn't a firm foundation in this situation, but you just don't want to move on. You're trying to hang on to this situation. But it does mean also conflict with others, and then you've, you're making a decision. Nurture you, look after you. Do things that make you happy. You may have kids with this person as well. And if you're not trying to get pregnant, be very careful um, with the Empress. But somebody is, as I said, they're a bit of a know-it-all. They are all talk and no action. Could be very gossipy, sarcastic, you know, insulting, rude, that kind of person. And you may know, be not in any kind of communication with this person. And as I said, this is somebody you thought you were going to get old with. Lastly, we have the Justice card in reverse, and we have the Three of Cups. Now, you've had the Three of Cups already. As I said, maybe you just need to turn to your circle of support. Um, it can also be um, maybe someone's you're, you're going to be invited to some sort of celebration um, as well. But I feel like more it's just spend time with your friends because... I feel like this person is being dishonest or somebody was being dishonest and didn't take accountability for their actions. Um, this card's all about karma and I guess what you're going to get is your karma or somebody will get their karma. If, they, if It's all about karma. The truth always comes out. This is what the justice card is. And even though someone's being dishonest, it doesn't mean the truth won't come out. It will. Somebody will get their karma. But you're all in your head. Self-imposed restrictions. This is negative thoughts. Limit, you feel like you've got limited options. It could also be a dangerous situation for some people. But it's like um, someone's feeling trapped. Maybe got negative thoughts, as I said. And then the tower. This is some sudden unwanted change. We need to go through transformation so we can become the best version of us and who we're meant to be. And we go through these things so we can release them and they're not meant to be in our lives so something is not meant to be in your life it's a spiritual lesson for you um, and i feel like because you do want that stability you're holding on to something maybe more than what you should um, but I feel like you're, so you're resisting the change being stubborn because you want long term security um, but I feel like this whole thing has been a spiritual lesson for you um, yeah there may be some confusion about what went on but the Sun card has come out because it wants you to know that everything's going to be fine. Be who you are. Be authentically who you are. And you don't need anyone to validate who you are. So, you know, keep being optimistic. You know, you are going to get material happiness and a joyous outcome and success. So, you know, don't worry, I guess is what it's sort of telling you. You've got the King of Pentacles and you've got the King of Cups, both in reverse. I mean, this person could have been emotionally manipulative, crafty, violent, moody. They could have been somebody who was a player. They're not good with money. Um, it can also mean there was a third party. And these cards, the three of, of um, the three of Cups, can also mean you've got two of you've got the card twice. It can mean a third party sometimes. Um, so I mean, this could be also a third party.
The third parties don't have to be sexual. They can be somebody who, um, you know, interfered. Give me more. Look, your dreams are going to come true. And funny, I saw this card under here. Same card. This was under the kings that I just read. And I only wanted to read the top two. So I didn't go any further. But underneath that, you have the nine of cups. And then this one here that fell out is the nine of cups. You are going to have your wishes coming true. You, your dreams are going to come true twice. But just keep having the faith. It does mean happiness. It means whatever, whatever you want, you will get. It's just not going to be with this person. The person you thought you were going to get old with. You're not wanting to forgive and learn. Um, but I feel like someone with your dreams is going to come true. You are going to have someone that's going to come in. Which I guess is those new beginning cards. Um, and it will probably progress to a higher level of commitment. And you may meet them through your friends or, as I said, let your friends help you. It could be there that you just need some support from your friends. Okay. Lucky last. Any more. Watch anything that triggers you, realise your worth, and someone's going to come in and tell you they like you. At the moment, you're not willing to go out and date, um, but that's because you need to feel great first. Obviously work on you first, and then when the time is right, someone new will come in. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Cancer. Um, uh, thanks for watching. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.